a trapezoidal channel with bottom width of 5 meters and side slope of 1.5 horizontal to 1 is to be constructed. The lining of this channel should be made up of smooth concrete. So the Manning's roughness coefficient will be equal to 0.012. Now, we want this channel to carry discharge of 15 meter cube per second at a depth of 1.2 meters. For that, what should be the bed slope of this channel? Let us find out. Find the bed slope required to carry a discharge of 15 meter cube per second at a depth of 1.2 meters. To obtain the bed slope, we'll use Manning's formula. Manning's formula is usually used to obtain velocity. This is the Manning's formula. V is equal to 1 by n, r is to 2 by 3 into s raised to 1 by 2. If we rearrange certain terms, we will obtain the equation in terms of slope. S is equal to q square into n square divided by a square multiplied by r is to 4 by 3. Okay, Q is the discharge. It is 15 meter cube per second. N is the Manning's roughness coefficient. It is 0 0.012. A is the uh, flow area and uh, f uh, area of flow can be obtained using this equation. A is equal to B plus MY into Y and R is the hydraulic radius. It is the ratio of area and weighted perimeter. Once we obtain these terms, we can obtain the bed slope. Now, let us start. Width is 5 meters, side slope is 1.5, flow depth is 1.2 meters, discharge is 15 meter cube per second, Manning's roughness coefficient is 0 0.012. Now, area is 8.16 meter square, weighted perimeter is 9.327 meters, and hydraulic radius, which is the ratio of uh, area and weighted perimeter is 0 0.875 okay r is equal to a divided by p having obtained these terms we can now easily obtain the bed slope the required bed slope to carry discharge of 15 meter cube per second at a depth of 1.2 meters is 0 0.0005815 meters per meter it was obtained using this equation okay so per kilometer the bed slope will be equal to 0 0.005815 multiplied by 1000 so the bed slope per kilometer is 0.58 0.581 meters per kilometer. Okay. So, to carry discharge of 15 meter cube per second at a depth of 1.2 meters, the bed slope required should be 0.581 meters per kilometer. Let us uh, increase the flow depth. For 1.2 meters of flow depth, the bed slope required is 0 0.581 meters per kilometer. This is 1.2 meters. Okay, let us increase the flow depth. 1.5 meters. Okay. If we increase the flow depth, the value of slope decreases. Okay, so if the flow depth is 1.5 meters, the slope is equal to 0.258 meters per kilometer. Now, if we reduce the depth, okay, let us say that we want this channel to carry 15 meter cube per second of discharge at a depth of just 1 meter then the slope will 
increase okay 1.115 meters per kilometer so per kilometer length of this channel the drop uh, in elevation should be equal to 1.115 meter then it will be able to carry discharge of 15 meter cube per second at 1 meter depth okay okay originally the flow depth was 1.2 meters and for that we obtain the value of bed slope equal to 0.581 meters per kilometer or 0 0.000518 meters per meter